With iOS 26, we now are able to edit the appearance of our app icons and widgets. Tap and hold on any home screen, then tap on the edit button in the upper left. From here, we can add a widget, customize icons, edit our wallpaper, or edit our app pages. Tap on the customize option, and a panel slides up with four icon options. In the top left corner, we have a button that will slightly darken the wallpaper. This is so subtle that I'm not sure you will notice in the video. In the upper right, we can switch from standard app icons with their names below to slightly larger icons with no names displayed. The four icon options are default, dark, clear, and tinted. Default is the traditional icon appearance that we have had on iOS forever. Switch to dark, and the app icons and widgets get primarily black backgrounds. This will even be applied to third-party app icons. No updates required. The only one it doesn't seem to affect is the black magic camera icon here. Back in the Customize panel, notice that we can apply dark icons always, or switch to Automatic, which will display the default icons during daylight hours and dark icons at night. Switch to Clear, and the icons and widgets lose all their color and have a semi-transparent frosted glass appearance applied. This really brings the liquid glass design to our app icons. Switch to the Dark option for more of a shaded glass look. Again, we have an auto option here to switch between dark and light, depending on the time of day. Next, we have the Tinted option. This allows us to apply a custom color to the frosted glass that we have in the clear option. Use the top slider to select a color, and the bottom slider affects the opacity of that color. So if I select green, when its opacity is maxed out, the icons are very green. Dial it back for more of an aqua green that doesn't look too bad on the blue wallpaper. Tap this flower looking button and the average color of the background wallpaper will be selected. No matter what color is selected in the top slider, tapping this button will bring it back to the average of the background wallpaper. Use the eyedropper tool here to select a specific color from the wallpaper to apply as an icon tint. Below we can switch between light and dark tint. This can make quite a difference in how the tint is applied to the icons. The dark tint options seem to apply the tint color more to the graphics within the icons, and the light option applies the tint color to the empty areas of the icons. Having these four icon customization options allows for a huge variety of appearance options on our iOS devices. Remember that switching to the dark options for the clear and tinted icons is not the same as switching to dark mode on your iPhone or iPad. That can be done from display and brightness settings or control center. Dark mode applies more to app interfaces rather than our home screen or icons. Next up, we will look at the camera app redesign in iOS 26.